Hi, my name is Jamie Macklin and I'm a pediatrician at Nationwide Children's Hospital. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to properly swaddle a baby. First thing that you're going to want to get is a thin blanket. The first step that you're going to want to do is fold the top edge over like so. The next step is going to be placing the baby stomach side up on this folded edge. The next step is going to be taking the baby's arms, placing them against her chest like so, and this mimics the natural position in the womb. You're then going to take the rightmost edge fold it over the baby. Next, we're going to take the bottom edge and fold it over. It's important to note that this edge should not go any higher than the shoulders for the safety of the baby. The last step is going to be taking the leftmost edge and folding it over one final time. Some of the benefits of swaddling are to provide warmth to the baby and to comfort the baby. Swaddling your baby too tightly can lead to a problem called hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia happens when the head of the femur or upper leg bone does not fit into the socket of the hip properly. When a baby is swaddled with her legs positioned straight, problems can develop. The straight leg position does not allow the head of the femur to put pressure on the hip socket, so the socket does not grow properly. These are the hip movements we'd like the baby, baby to be able to have while swaddled. Again, free range hip movement uh, will prevent hip dysplasia. Please make sure that you can put two fingers in between the baby's chest and the swaddle blanket. If this is possible, then the baby swaddle is loose enough.